Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Anil Kamath. I am a Senior Consultant Surgical Oncologist at Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. The symptoms which I spoke about can also be due to a much less harmful condition called BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. So it is uh, always required that the doctor uh, proceeds with investigations to confirm his clinical suspicion. Now what are the tests which are done to confirm or uh, disprove prostate cancer? The first and most important uh, examination done by the doctor is a digital rectal examination in which he examines the prostate with the uh, gloved lubricated finger through the rectum of the patient. In this, he examines the prostate glands and sees whether there is anything suspicious and which requires a biopsy. The next uh, investigation which is usually done is called a transrectal ultrasound. Now it is similar to a regular ultrasound except that it is done with the probe which is passed through the anus so that the prostate gland can be seen more clearly. The third test which is usually done is a blood test which is called PSA or prostate specific antigen. This is a blood test which if it is in very high range gives the doctor an indication that we could be dealing with prostate cancer. Once there is suspicion then we generally go for the higher test which usually will be a MRI or a PET scan. Now at the end of investigations it's always required that a biopsy is taken. Now the simplest way of taking a biopsy is a ultrasound guided biopsy. Like I said earlier, in transrectal ultrasound, the prostate is very clearly visualized and once the suspicious area is seen, a needle is inserted and its biopsies are taken. These biopsies are sent to the pathologist who sees under the microscope and confirms or disproves the presence of cancer.